What is going on members of the Shy Guy Squad and MPL fans alike? My name is Dan, otherwise known as Donkey, and I'm your head coach for the St. Louis Sableyes in Season 3 of the Major Pokemon League. In Week 2, we're facing off against Cypher Block and the Detroit Lipards. We have brought ourselves Greninja, Embor, Weavile, Megalodios, Gothitelle, and Registeel, and Cypher has brought himself Mega Venusaur for god knows what reason. Bisharp, which I'm scared of, Kurum, which scares the living shit out of me if you guys saw week 3 of the Battle of Union versus Monotui. He's got a Gramble, a Tentacruel, and a Pangoro. So without further ado, let's just kick off this battle. So, Cypher here is issuing a challenge, and I am going to send out my Greninja as my lead because Greninja is a really solid lead. And he's going to lead off with Mark Hunt D. Pangoro. And I didn't want any of that shit. So I decide I'm going to switch into my Bacon. Because he can take both of um, um, Pangoro's stabs without a problem. And he does this uh, go for the resisted stab, which is knockoff. So we do lose our expert belt, which is fine. He takes life orb damage. We definitely know it's an offensive variant. Now he is going to withdraw his Pangoro right here as I am going to go for a Flare Blitz onto his incoming tank. I don't everyone brings female Gramble for some reason. This these ladies with their jaws. Uh, so I'm just going to drop Flare Blitz and that's going to do a solid 45-ish percent. And he is Rocky Helmet, probably max HP, max defense, because Embor still hits like a truck. So I'm going to switch in here into Reggie Meal, which is like my main fairy counter. And I made a couple of misplays with this Registeel, I'll say that right now. First of all, I switched him into EQ, not that that does a lot, because I am a Registeel. Uh, and I do have my leftovers and stuff, so that isn't really a problem. Now my bigger problem in general with this thing is, you know, I go for Thunder Wave, I have Iron Head, I could have just attacked it, which will come into play later. And he's going to go for yet another Earthquake, which is going to hurt. <laughs> and let's think about it now. There's a Kurum Black in the back of his team, and I'm just here taking on a Gramble. Wasting my Registeel on a Gramble. Which is so stupid of me. So he's going to withdraw his, um, withdraw his, uh, thingy, and send in his Bisharp. And I'm thinking, alright, let's go for Iron Head. I do have Hammer Arm on this set as well. But I don't really want to sack it, but I'm thinking I don't want anything to switch into a knockoff. Or a, well, potential sucker punch or anything like that. I don't have anything that wants to switch in. So I basically have to sack my Ridge of Steel. And now my Curum check is gone. Tell me, what switches into a Curum on my team now? Nothing does. And I go into my grid here trying to make a prediction to expect his Tentacruel or Venusaur to come in. So I go for Extra Sensory. But he does stay in, goes for the Low Kick, and son of a bitch. This upsets me, but I do retaliate with my own low kick, and that kills the Bisharp, so thank god for that. So we're currently, I think it's 5-5, five, five. uh, could have been worse. But then, um, I, I, I don't even know what I want to do with this part. It, Kirim comes in and clicks Outrage, he's Choice Scarf, and a bunch of shit dies. As you guys can clearly see from this, like Greninja dies, uh, which is, you know, happens then you have uh, Gothitelle which does come in and you know yeah totally not stealing Mega Mogwai's name or anything as if I've not watched a comic I kill myself for those of you about to like oh you're stealing Mogwai's names no I'm not <clears throat> so he's gonna get confused after the two turn which is very uh, very fortunate and we're gonna go for the hidden power fighting on this Kyurem just to get some extra damage on it it does do about 35-ish -ish percent, and he is not going to hit himself in Confusion, which is very lucky for Cypher, of course. He's going to get another Outrage off, which is going to take down my uh, Gothitelle. So that's three Outrages that he has clicked. And then I'm going to switch into my Embor, and just, you know, hope and pray that he hits himself, because Embor is the next thing that can kill it. And he doesn't hurt himself, so I'm just thinking, yep. I, I don't, I don't, I, you know, I literally sat in the battle, it was 5 in the morning, I've waited all day for Cypher, first of all, because he was, uh, he was like, oh, I'm around at any time, and then I waited for Denge, because he needed to gen, and that took fucking forever, so I was tired, and I was upset, and then this Kurum was being a fucking cunt, and I was so upset, 
uh, I was really tired, and seeing this Hiram just doing its thing, I, I literally sat there saying to myself, four times, I don't even want to do this league anymore. There's no point. I just, I'm, like, there, there's literally no point. I'm just wasting my time. I waited an entire day just to see Kiram kill half my team. And in the long run, it really wasn't worth it. And this is what happens when you don't prep your own teams. So I decided to go for para flinch strategy here against this uh, grand bull, and it does go down to the para part of it, which does happen after the flinches. So I go for another icicle crash, and it is so short off of killing. He's obviously like somewhere between one and five HP, and he does break through the para and the flinch and the accuracy, and does land the uh, play rough. So I'm down to one Pokemon now because Kiram got like three kills, and then. Oh, some Bisharp got one, and then this thing got one. So I'm gonna make evolve my Latias here as a last ditch effort. I think it's like four. I think it's four to one now. So I'm gonna send in my Latias and go for an Ice Beam. Gonna take out this Gramble, and uh, that's gonna be Gramble. So we're down to three one. Uh, Cipher really could have ended it right now by switching into Pangoro, but he, he didn't want to. So he wanted to show off this. Tentacruel set, which I could have beaten 1v1, but there is a certain situation that happens. The problem here is not the binding band uh, infestation, which is interesting and all. It, the binding band infestation in itself didn't really work, but the problem, like the one thing that made that set such a problem, is the upcoming turn where he goes for Scald, and because my luck is absolute shit, he is going to get the burn. Um, you know, when you have 12.5 on top of the binding band, well, I think that's also 12.5. So basically, 25% of your health burned off every turn, including like extra damage when you're trying to like recover. It really doesn't help you. I mean, I lose 37.5% ish every turn, which means I'm still on a recovery stage, but it's not a whole lot. I think I lose up to like, well, I think I lose actually in total 45% or something because the burn. And then, as you can see, we go from, I mean, let's see, it goes to 100, so it does 31 HP, and then the burn does a good amount of damage. So I'm just going to take out this tentacle right here, bring it down to a 2-1. So, I mean, at least Latias is getting some kills, bouncing back from the last week. Uh, which is okay, I think. Um, and then he's going to bring out the Pangoro, which can just come in here and click anything at this point and take me out. The one thing I could pray for is get a high roll crit, and then have him take himself out to life over recoil, but I do not get the crit. I do not get, a, I did get a high roll though, but not the crit, and he's gonna go for an ice punch, take me out, take some life over recoil, and Cypher is going to win in a 2-0 victory. So, <clears throat> that has been MPL Season 3 Week 2. And the 5-0-2-0 the uh, thing seems to be a trend now with Season 1 of MPL Season three of TBU and now it's season three of MPL. So according to the logic, I should, uh, well, according to the logic, I'm losing 4-0 to Bliss next week. I mean, I hope I don't, but holy shit, that, I regret that. You guys heard that. Well, um, so, uh, that has been it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.